I'm back with the Balearic Sling. I've been practicing and I've been recording some of the practicing and learning a lot of fun things about how to use a sling more effectively. There you can see that I'm simply throwing rocks out into the desert and doing the practice. A lot of learning a Balearic Sling is the repetition uh, simply practicing over and over. Right now, I'm paying attention for some key things. The spin of the wrist is just to set the sling in motion. The movement of the arm is where the power comes in and how the release happens. I was uh, watching some tutorials on using a sling and I learned that it's valuable to hold the release cord and throw the release cord as the arm comes forward. So it's almost as if the release of the release cord is the same way that I would release a ball if I were holding the ball in my hand. And that's been valuable. The point at which I move my body forward and then start to bring the arm forward has been improving. I realized when I first started that I would wait until the sling was behind me to start my arm movement going forward and that was too late that I started moving my body and started moving my arm as early as the 270 degrees instead of waiting for it to be 180 degrees back. Here we have Milo, a very enthusiastic sheepdog who loves to play fetch. And as you can see, even drops the ball at my feet and wags his tail enthusiastically to go run and, and play fetch again. And there he goes. He's off and running. He really likes that the Balearic sling is able to throw the ball a little bit farther than if I were simply throwing the ball by hand. And as he's making the rounds and bringing the ball back, drops it, and starts wagging his tail enthusiastically, ready to go again. And there he goes, getting lots of good exercise and having lots of fun. And the practice of being able to use the Balearic Sling, I've been enjoying and improving skills, which has been really satisfying. It's been a lot of fun. And as I've been doing the sling, over and over and over. The repetition of it has been allowing me to get a better feel for when to start moving my body forward and when to throw with my arm, which is where the power comes from. The spinning with the wrist uh, just sets the ball in motion. And here we'll see again, getting ready to do the spin with the wrist. And as it gets spinning, bringing the arm back, body forward, and sling forward with the arm. And, and we're back again. As you can see, it's a beautiful day. Milo is having a great time chasing the ball and having lots of fun. There he goes. Being such a good boy, playing fetch and uh, and having fun, and I'm getting lots and lots of practice using the sling. And as each of the clips show, as I spin the ball on the sling, and then as I start moving my body forward, and as my arm comes forward and releases, the timing on that is what I'm working to improve now and there will be uh, future levels of the things that I'm focusing on to improve my slinging uh, right now that's where it's at here we have another doggy this is zero zero has tons of enthusiasm to play fetch and loves to chase after the ball the one thing that I will mention if you're noticing that my movement of my body is not as much, uh, partly because Zero likes to stand right in my footsteps. This concludes the sling practice. See you in the next video.